Hey Tabita. Hey Lynn. Hey, we often get asked to mediate in conflicts with an international dimension. And can you explain what we run into? Sure. Well, each conflict is different and I don't necessarily think that conflicts that involve an expat or someone with a different culture is necessarily very different from a, a regular conflict. So you mean the dynamics stay the same? Yes, but often there is a perception of um, communication issues. There is a, a, a misunderstanding in language. There is a um, expectations that were perhaps not clearly defined or that are different. I think a lot of us Dutch people, um, myself included perhaps, um, think that we have a great understanding of cultures because we've traveled a lot and because we speak English and we speak German and most of us understand uh, French. So we have the idea that we are super international and super cultural aware. Mm. And um, well, our intern did a research among expats in expat communities and found that uh, a lot of expats do run into social and communication difficulties at uh, working with and um, among Dutch people. And in that case, it's probably a good idea to try mediation instead of going to a lawyer and make it turn it into a court case. Yeah, one of the things that we heard also from lawyers that work with expats or work for expats is that a lot of expats are very t scared to take their employer or colleague to court. If they lose their contract, they may also lose their visa. Yeah. So on, on, on the one hand, there's more at stake. And on the other hand, um, I think in general, mediation is always a good option that you should try first. I mean, try to get together, work in, a, in an atmosphere of confidentiality, um, on a voluntary basis on improving communications and finding out if there's a solution that would work for both of you. Exactly. I totally agree. Thank you.